Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And in this video, we're going to look at doing the double spay. Now, the nice thing about the double spay and what makes it easy is that it breaks down into components. So it gives us a chance to think when we're doing the motions of the double spay. You've got a chance to see each component individually. The single spay and the snake roll, everything is dynamic, everything is moving at once. Uh, so there is a, you know, a certain level of um, concentration required to pull those off. Double spay, not so much. We can, you know, ah, da -da, da -da, da -da. It's, it, it's a pretty straightforward cast and, we, and you know, when you're learning you can keep up with it mentally. Uh, so that's quite cool. And it's a very good cast to do when you have a downstream wind. So the wind is blowing downstream, we leave our anchor downstream so the anchor remains downwind of us. Again, like the snake roll, we want the wind to push the anchor away from us, not towards us. And that's why we do it in a downstream wind. And it places the anchor downstream. So you can use either the snake roll or the double spay. There's a couple of advantages to either one. I find the snake roll is a bit more powerful. Uh, the double spay is probably a little easier to get going in tight situations because you can adjust your anchor placement more easily so you can get around obstacles a little bit more easily but either one you can do it in a downstream wind and they work just fine so let's take a look at the double spay now there's an, another spay cast we can use called a double spay which is used in the same position as a snake roll uh, you have a wind going downstream and your anchor is being placed downwind of you. So we're going to put our anchor over there for a downstream wind. And in some respects, it's an easier cast to learn than a, than a snake roll because it breaks down rather easily into components and you have a little bit more time to make the cast work. So just like other casts, we start with our line straight downstream, what we call the fly on the dangle. And I'm going to point my toe where I want the cast to go, just like in the snake roll and I'm going to lift my line up, bring my fly up, but my anchor stays down there. My fly is down there, down wind of me and downstream of me. And then I'll bring my rod tip back, I'll make my D-loop, and then I'll make my cast. So the nice thing about the double spay is it gives you the chance. You're making an upstream lift, and then you're coming around and you've got all the time in the world to do this. It's a very, very simple cast, lots of time to do it. You don't have to rush it. In fact, rushing it is the worst thing you can do. In fact, that's true of any spay cast. You don't want to rush them. So you can see how slow I'm moving. I plant my anchor downstream, and I make a cast. I even hit the bushes behind me and still got it off. If you're having trouble with bushes behind you, just keep the anchor a little bit further in, in front of you a little further away from you, I should say, and then you don't have to worry about hitting the bushes. And you can see it's a very relaxed cast. I keep my anchor downstream of me. You notice, look where my head is. I'm looking at my anchor when I'm doing this cast. Keep your eye on the anchor, because if you don't keep your eye on your anchor, it could be up here and you haven't seen it. And then when you make your cast, you get it under the chin or in the eye or some other unpleasant place. And you can see how relaxed I can be with this cast, providing my fly is not on rocks. So I'll just bring the line up, make my D loop, and you notice how relaxed it is. We're not rushing this cast at all. You can take your time. So that's the double spay. Uh, it's a very straightforward cast. Take your time. Make your D-loop, and the whole time you should be watching your anchor, and you can watch your anchor turn around and come into position, and then you're ready to go. So that's your timing of it. Bring your line around, and when you see that leader go from this way to that way, that's when you want that cast to go. That's when we make our forward stroke. So you bring up your line, plant it in front of you, So you keep your anchor down stream of you, make your D-loop, and you can change direction with this as well by changing the point of your toe. So 
So you can see I cast it a further angle downstream just by changing the position of my toe. If I wanted to go directly across stream, I'd point my toe directly across stream and that's where the cast will go. Wherever your toe points, that's how your cast will line up. So it's true of any spay cast. Point your lead toe at the target and that's the direction your cast will go. So let's just recap that. Cast, the double, so let's recap the double spay. You bring your line up, but you keep the fly down stream of you. You make your D loop and you make your cast. So we'll do it one more time. So we have the lift, watch the anchor, watch the fly, sweep around, make your D loop, make your cast. And you can see how slow I'm going. No rushing in this business. Keep it nice and slow. So there's the double spay. Very, very handy cast. You can use it in the same position as a, a snake roll. And you might say, why would I use one over the other? I find uh, sometimes the, the double spay is an easier cast to start with over the snake roll. Um, the other reason why you might want to use it is that you want to uh, be a little bit more deliberate with the cast and how you place the anchor. Because I find I can usually have uh, uh, get away with a little less space with the double spay because I can put my anchor further out in front of me and uh, further away from me and that way I make my D-loop a bit smaller. But other than that, the snake roll and the double spay will do the same job. So give it a try. Cheers. Okay, there's the double spay. Very straightforward cast. I, I think if you wanted to, uh, you know, start with your first, you know, true spay cast, I, you know, double spay might be a good one to start with. You can start with the single spay and go through the progression of this video, but uh, you could start with the double spay if you want it because of that aspect that it allows you time to think as you're going through the motions. So uh, let's move on to the circle spay.